Hi, it is Jim Clark here from On Success TV. I am down here today at Hello Work, uh, down in Old Granada Studios with Johnny Cadden. Hello, Hi. Johnny. How are you doing? You alright? So we're here to find out about Johnny's career and also a bit about what's going on in his life. So uh, yeah, welcome. My first question is: Do you want to just tell us a little bit about your career to date? Career to date. So I started work when I was about 12, 13 years old for my dad. Uh, from college, I got a job. <laughs> I got a job um, designing signs on the original Apple Macs up in Bay Cup. Uh, and then I got a job for the Berry Times, Bolton Evening News, doing graphic design, page planning, and I did that till I went travelling in 2002, 2003 for a year. Uh, I found out about a career in recruitment in 2004. Uh, and I got my way into recruitment. I got rejected at loads of agencies in Manchester, uh, but I didn't give up. I just kept going on, going on, going on, back, knocking on the doors. Met this one chap, and uh, it was just him running the recruitment business. And he said, you've got no experience. He says, give me a job, and I will sell more than anybody's ever sold for you before. So he gave me a job. Uh, I was on the phone, and I got my first hit. It was the first cold call by, actually, the guy in this design studio, this gaming studio in Cheshire, picked up the phone and went, what, it's not your first day in recruitment, your first week in recruitment, is it? I went, uh, no. He's like, yeah, so he gave me my first job and I filled an IT support role, week three, straight into a job in recruitment. <gasps> Boom. Loving the stuff. And then uh, in 2006, I founded Fluid Recruitment, named after my favorite nightclub on Juicy Street in, from 1999. Nine years later, we won Talk of Manchester, scaled it up to 24 people in 2014. And then, are you keeping up? Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. So I started going to business festivals. We're transitioning into my next business here. So I started going to business and tech festivals and realised I'm going to do something for Manchester with a Manchester identity, with a tech and digital slant and entrepreneurialism, and slam it in with what I love, which is live music sets, DJs, entrepreneurial journey, and just fun. Business can be fun and tech can be fun. And I've just started six app businesses as well, which is the next story off the back of Tech Cluster, which is a new a new app that we're doing, which is going to be launch in eight languages and it's going to be a, an app for the tech, digital, creative and investment community. So that's what we're up to, a bit of a crazy, crazy, crazy life. And I also picked oranges in Australia and put up exhibition stands and did loads of stuff like that. And I've got more jobs as well. How did you find education? Uh, was it something you kind of found easy or, or you... What sort of student I should, have, you? should have tried harder, but I could yeah. have done better if I'd applied myself and stopped being cheeky. What advice would you give to a young person who's just starting their career? What advice would I give to someone? I would say that um, at the minute in Manchester, you've, you've got the perfect time, you've got such a good uh, and emerging uh, support infrastructure with all the accelerators that are developing around the city. The support is out there if you want it, so decide what you want to do pick something that you love and if you pick something that you love you'll never work a day in your life but what is success to you what what's your kind of thing that you're aiming for success to me will look like a sold out event in 2016 and also this app taking off would be a success you, you live this full-on life and you've got loads going on what is it that motivates you each day to kind of get you out of bed well what, what I'm doing the, the the event that I'm doing at the minute is is it fun? Does it sound fun to you? Oh yeah, I love so it. So there you yeah. go, it's just like organising a massive, I'm getting the coolest tech companies in the world, inspiring the next generation of tech entrepreneurs and mixing in music and live acoustic sets. What more? It's not, it's, I'm not working. It's just amazing. It's just mm. all good. There is 435,000 young people uh, that are currently at risk of long-term unemployment and there's I think it's like 42% of young people in the UK don't get five GCSEs. And a lot of those have barriers to getting into main roles. Uh, how do you think that can be tackled, that challenge? Really easy. So I was just this morning driving to the tram stop to get the tram into town yeah. for a meeting and I saw a guy um, at the side of the road and he had his earphones on and he was from um, Berry Council, he was putting rubbish into the bag, a young lad, and he was bopping away to his tunes. And I just thought, just think if he used those eight hours a day to stream Tony Robbins on YouTube to his earphones. He could be in a classroom picking litter for eight hours a day and over the course of a year, how many hours is that? That he's just listened to sales motivation or business motivation or talks on whatever he wanted to uh, upskill on. Self-education. Self-education, it's all on YouTube. It's all there, you can train yourself to be a brain surgeon. Okay, so Johnny, who is it that inspires you? 
the ultimate entrepreneur for me is Richard Branson. He's very, very cool. He's just, the, the way he um, negotiated and got all the deals throughout his career, right up to Necker Island and nearly died in the balloon and everything. His book, read Richard Branson's book, it's amazing. John Corner was uh, the CEO of The Landing. Um, he was one of the guys that really inspired me to finally found Business Rocks and start it, because I was not gonna start it at one point. I put the brakes on to focus on Fluid, but then I watched John Corner present in Media City uh, on the new UTC and how amazing everything was. And uh, just after seeing John speak, I just thought, I went out and founded the business the next day and just thought, I'm gonna do this no matter what. I'm gonna create an international tech investment conference for Manchester. There's loads of people that inspire me. Well, that is the end of the interview. I just want to say a big thanks to Johnny for coming down. Uh, it's been really interesting to hear your story, so big thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, look forward to Business Rock 2016. Come on. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks, Johnny. No worries.